Welcome back guys, crypto for Light channel, another educational video about a trading view and the instruments, how to work with Fibonacci time zone tool. Let's dive in. Guys, I already made a video about Fibonacci retracement, trend-based FIB extension, FIB channels. I highly recommend you watch all of that videos. Today we'll talk about Fibonacci time zone, but you have to understand, even when we use the Fibonacci retracement or Fibonacci trend-based extension, all of that entries or starting point or correction point, it's just subjective because I already explained to you, there's millions of traders around the world and everybody use totally different time frames totally different starting point everybody got their own vision of the market so yes we got some like basic rules how to work with the FIB you know but how to determine the correct levels that's a problem and this is just subjective moment that's why the Fibonacci time zones is also will be the subjective instrument and depends of your experience depends of your vision of the market it's not 100 percent will play out uh, like we expected the fibonacci retracement for example showing us the correction levels the fibonacci time zones probably will show us when these corrections will happen based on the math and the numbers just example how we usually works with the fib uh, retracement so this is the daily time frame we use a magnet we use the top we got a correction this is an impulse correction bounce almost to 0 0.5 level by fib retest that again zero level sweep that low bounce and retest till penny 18 level by fib if you didn't watch it uh, the video how to work with that custom levels and this is basically the good entry to buy back and here's a reaction at 61 23 0 0.5 and most likely we will jump uh sweep that low sweep that low and maybe even that one at 102 this is the current uh, moment on uh soul use the t trading pair so this is the levels where we can uh, potentially expect some uh, price movement you know on soul but it's also the just subjective opinion because we can use the FIB like this one and this can be the support level right so everything is just total subjective the same story with the FIB time and let's say we got a swing high on Asia high so this was Asia all right so let's use the magnet let's go to the FIB time zone and let's use the reply bar so let's for example we don't know what will happen next it's a daily time frame so let's use that FIB like this is a swing high this will be the swing low top correction all right so let's go to FIB time zone and don't forget use the magnet so this is a top and we use the correction this dash line till that low and the FIB automatically depends of what exact low you will add it like a second point uh remind the time time date so for example we don't know what's happening next one and now we'll see how the price reacts by days we probably will see some uh, k moment on a market it can be the reversal move like this one or it can be the continuation of the downtrend maybe it will be the uptrend so take a look how the price reacts exactly at that level so we got a condition from the high of asia swing high to the swing low we added the fibonacci time zones let's take a look at this so we bounce it and here we're going down so we could probably open short this is a day what we're waiting for and now after that uh, we should see the continuation or the downtrend and it's like a k point to open trade And like you can see we continue that pump so if we for example open a long here or buying on a spot it was like uh let's take a look what the percentage it was like 27 percent 27 percent on the spot pretty good right and we could fix the profit all right we got another day and now let's see what will happen next we're going down 
Of course, we have to use everything in a complex because we can't know exactly what happened. That's why it's just showing us the K point by time, but not showing us the direction of the price. But take a look, if we could open short here, we get made like 16% uh, down or even bigger one. 23. 26, 27, so 27% up, 27% down, exactly after that day. Next one, so this is a K day, let's take a look. We're going higher, bounce. Take a look, exactly after that day, we get a reaction. So for example, it could be like, again, 37% pump. Even higher that one 44 so the next uh, k day should be it was yesterday and now it will be the question are we going up or down and the next one based on that FIP uh, will be just in uh, December 9. That's why guys, so this is a just subjective tool. I hope you like this video, but personally, I never use the Fibonacci time zone in my trading strategy. We just made a review of that instrument. Subscribe channel, hit the like button, hit the notification button, don't forget to join my Telegram channel. See you next time, guys.